Are you wondering how much it will cost you to live in Sicily for a few months as an expat or a nomad? In this video we'll do a complete monthly budget breakdown covering accommodation, transportation, groceries and social life. Stick around because for each one of these categories we have tips and tricks that will save you a lot of money. Hey, I'm Davide and in this channel we help curious people discover new places, cultures and perspectives and we share a few tips on how to live and travel smarter, like how to save a lot of money in Sicily for example. If that sounds good to you, stick around and hit that subscribe button because we will release more videos like this one. But now let's jump straight into the numbers and have a look at how much it will cost you to live in Sicily and how to save a lot of money when staying here. The first expense is obviously accommodation. Now, what you want to do here is try to find a landlord and talk directly to them. Prices on Airbnb and Booking are usually 1,500 even on low season, and that's completely wrong because most places are just occupied between June and September. So what happens is during the rest of the years, most landlords have their properties sitting empty and they'll be more than happy to rent them even at a fraction of the price. Now, how you do that? There are three ways to find landlords directly. One is obviously you go on Airbnb and reach out directly to the landlord there. Some of them will tell you that they can't rent for over 29 days and that's okay, but some of them will happily consider your offer, especially if you're staying a number of months. Second one is to go on places like Immobiliare.it, Idealista.it, Subito.it. These websites have a lot of ads for houses for rent. The thing is, a lot of them will be managed by agencies, but if you go through the listing, you'll find a lot of private people that are happy to rent month by month. So that's definitely another option to check out. But the third and most effective is tap into the local networks. And to do that, you have two ways. One, go on Facebook groups local Facebook groups. There you can ask with the help maybe of an automatic translator in Italian if someone's willing to rent their house for two or three months. The second one and the most effective is to just pick an area where you want to live and drive around and look for signals like this. That means for rent. So there will always be a phone number attached to that sign and you can just call the landlord and talk to them. The only problem here is that some landlords don't speak English. Actually, most landlords don't speak English. So what I would do if I were you and you didn't speak Italian is to first arrive in Sicily and stay with an Airbnb host or with a couch surfing host or even do a work away, befriend your host and ask them for help to find a place. Or if you're staying with an Airbnb host, they might even tell you, hey, how about you stay at my place for two or three months? This way you will end up spending maximum 400 to 600 euros for rent and you will enjoy Sicily the best time of the year. For example, we're getting a place for about 450 euros per month that would normally go for 1,500 to 2,000 euros per month during summer. And the truth is summer is not even the best time to visit Sicily. It's too hot, temperatures are over 40 degrees Celsius. All you want to do is stay home in front of the AC and wherever you'll go you will have to queue to see attractions under the scorching hot sun with hundreds of other tourists. In spring Sicily is about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, attractions are not as busy especially if you go on weekdays and you can get way way cheaper rent so it's a win-win. Now that you have your own place, you want to explore the island. And the best way to do that is by far using a car. Unfortunately, public transport in Sicily is really, really bad. Trains, infrastructure is rubbish. If you want to go from, let's say, one tip of the island to the other, it might take you even 10 hours by train, even if it's a few hundred kilometers. Bus companies don't always update the timetables and some of their websites are not connected to Google Maps. So you will never know if you're going to get that bus or not. And you will have to always ask around and it might get very frustrating. To get a car you can go with the usual airport rentals or with local companies like Locauto and Sicily by car that will charge you about 300 to 500 euros per month. Also with cars just like with accommodation you can tap into the local community and use Facebook marketplace or Facebook group to ask around and see if someone's willing to rent their car privately to you for a fraction of the cost. You might get a car for even 150 to 200 euros per month if you know how to do it. Next up is groceries and even though it sounds pretty straightforward there are actually tips and tricks to save on that too. But first a little note, I feel like the cost of living crisis has affected Italy more than Spain where we were before and I feel like our money was going a longer way back in Tenerife and supermarkets are a little bit more expensive in Sicily. The thing is you can save a lot of money also on fruits and vegetables in Sicily if you shop the local way. The way to do that is to keep an eye when you drive around town for those trucks with vegetables and fruits on the side. Those are usually local 
farmers that have their seasonal produce for sale and it's usually half price compared to the supermarket. Another thing you can do is go to the local market. Most big cities in Sicily have markets every day. Smaller towns have weekly markets. Everything will be seasonal, fresh and way cheaper than in the supermarkets. We just did our weekly shopping and we spent just about over 100 euros for the two of us and the cat. I feel the same amount of things in Tenerife would have probably cost us 80 to 85 euros so it's definitely a little bit more expensive here um, an example like basmati rice it's it's double uh, almost the price so keep that in mind and and yeah remember to use the trick of going to the markets or stopping at the food trucks with the veggies because that's more convenient Last but not least, and probably the reason why you want to visit Sicily in the first place, it's the stuff to do, all the things to see, activities, restaurants, how much would that cost? Well, you're in luck because Sicily has everything to offer to every budget. You have incredible natural beauty, national parks, white sand, crystal clear water beaches, volcanoes, forests that are pretty much free or with low entrance fees of 3 to 15 euros. Then you have the culture. Because of its strategic position in the middle of the Mediterranean, Sicily was conquered by Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and Normans. You have all sorts of architecture, museum, and archaeological park. Entrance to a Valle dei Templi di Agrigento or to the Greek antique theater of Taormina will cost you between 6 to 12 euros. And here's another quick saving tip. If you go on the first Sunday of the month, most archaeological park and museums are free everywhere in Italy. And when it comes to the best part, at least for me, which is the food, you also have incredible options at every price range. You have insanely good street food like arancini, panelle, panne croquet, scacce scacciate, which is about two euros maybe per piece and it's just incredible. I don't know, maybe you want to get a cafe with a cannolo as a snack in the afternoon that would set you back at most four to five euros. You have set meals in most trattoria, which is sort of like a restaurant but with more home cooking that will cost you about 15 maybe euros for a complete three set course menu and then you have upscale restaurants even like Michelin stars and don't forget the pizza obviously you can have a pizza for 15 to 20 euros per person including a drink and here's another quick tip to try real local food and pay way less than what you would pay in a restaurant when you go on Google Maps don't write ristorante or restaurant when you're looking for a place try to write gastronomia trattoria or rosticceria these are joints that make food according to the local cuisine because every town in Sicily has their own specialty and these places tend to make those specialty and they're very cheap let's say maybe a lasagna plate would cost you four or five euros in a gastronomia versus seven or eight euros in a restaurant and it's probably more authentic so definitely check out these places and do not forget to try agriturismo privately owned farm that make their own food from their own ingredients so they have their own garden with their local vegetables and they have their cows and pigs and they make you fresh cheese and meat and things like ricotta calda they are just insanely good and there's nothing like having a meal and thinking you know the cheese i'm eating that's that from that cow that I'm seeing out of the window. It's incredibly fresh and incredibly delicious and it's also cheap. A full meal in an agriturismo which comes with a starter, first course, second course and dessert would cost maybe 15 to 20 euros. Everything is delicious in Sicily. Can't go wrong with food. I know Italy is considered one of the best cuisines in the world. Well, Sicily is considered one of the best cuisines by Italians. So it's the best of the best. We're gonna stay in Sicily for three months and release videos about the food, the cuisine, the things to see and to do. So if you're curious about those, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know how living in Sicily compares to Tenerife, we made the Tenerife cost of living video. And yeah, hope to see you again soon. Ciao.